On this uh, meeting, I gave a talk on the uh, borderline ovarian tumors, which are a very interesting group of tumors, um, which need a further research, further investigation to give us, uh, uh, to have a clear idea of what is the best way of managing this uh, unique uh, group of tumors. It's obviously histology, but what's uh, uh, very important for them is that uh, they generally have a very benign behavior, but it's important to know that some of these tumors can behave very aggressively and the uh, uh, trick is to know which ones and to treat them adequately. Obviously the key factor is uh, histology and um, a part of my, or remit of my talk was to, to make uh, uh, colleagues um, inform about change in terminology, which will affect how we describe and how we treat these tumors in the future. Obviously, new development of laparoscopic surgery, bringing something new, new techniques, and we need to know the right indication and, like, and right application uh, for these techniques in treatment of uh, borderline tumors. Main message is that approach to management of this tumor really needs to be multidisciplinary. It uh, needs to be uh, discussed among the MDT uh, settings. Uh, a very uh, important uh, uh, link in that MDT is pathologist and uh, uh, to uh, approach every case individually. What was very exciting in this meeting is uh, um, new techniques in the um, identification of sentinel limb glands, which is a, a technique which probably started um, almost 20 years ago, but now we are coming very close introducing this uh, very valuable technique into clinical practice. And we had uh, gets from abroad, from America, from Denmark, and uh, we are benefiting from their experience and exchanging our own experience and hopefully coming up with the right protocols uh, for benefit of our patients. Standard management for most of uh, cancers we treat, but first of all cervical endometrium, is to remove the limb glands because these are the structures which can uh, harbor the cancerous cells and that very much influences the treatment and prognosis. Removing all these limb glands has a detrimental effect, uh, example, swelling of the legs called lymphedema. And this new technique allows us to concentrate, uh, not to remove all limb glands, concentrate on only a couple of limb glands, but get the same answer, which reduces the uh, morbidity of lymphedema by tenfold in most of the cases. Then we are getting more precise technique with less side effects. That's the bottom line. It's an ideal technique to be incorporated in the, uh, in the laparoscopic surgery, in robotic surgery, and it's a very exciting technique, and I really sincerely hope it will uh, um, get application in a clinical practice very soon.